Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. A quick announcement, as soon as this video is being posted, I will be streaming Ruina once again, first time in like a month, so feel free to join for that. But let's just get straight into it. Um, today's run, Zvi Gregor. I like Zvi Gregor a lot. It's been a while since I've soloed with him, but I've kind of been in a bit of like a solo mood ever since I did like that Suncliff solo lately. I want to see how well it will actually work. Got a bunch of, you know, standardish support passives. Some people didn't have anything great, so I just threw on something with a full rest gauge. We'll see how it goes, right? As far as starting ego gifts, I am not starting with lithograph, but I got a couple other things that seemed good, so I figured I might as well roll with it. My outpost homeward tomorrow's fortune might work out, right? We'll see. Um, hmm. I think top path is probably the way to go. Because, um... He's weak to Slash, so we probably don't want to take over the... Actually, Slash and Counter means they're weak to Slash. Not that they're going to deal Slash. Oh, well. It's too late to change that now. Um, we'll just... Hope that the pure speak enemies... They're probably going to be Slash, aren't they? Because they're probably going to be Taiku guys. Or... Yeah, okay, that's fine. You can manage this. But yeah, so Chef Gregor... Or, no, God, not Chef Gregor. Zvi Gregor. I don't know why I said Chef. Um, defense level up, bam, is his game. He just gains a bunch of defense level up from a lot of stuff. Stuff like that. And we've got a lot of support passes that'll help us. We kind of need to get some resources first, but... Good work, well. Yeah, Lethograph would be super good, though. I didn't want to just reset for Lethograph, though, because, like, yeah, obviously, and you give that heals him 10% of his AP whenever he gets a stagger. Of course, that's stupidly good, right? I'm trying to see if I can go without it or maybe get it from the shop instead. Okay, we're taking a little bit of bleed there. A little bit of SP damage from that guy is rough, that's for sure. We should be able to manage. We'll get countered a little bit. It's not a very strong counter, so we'll be fine. But we can get the Guardian off. Guardian, very important because it gives defense level up this turn and next turn to everyone in, in normal fights. Uh, there's only one person here, so it's not particularly great. It's about as good as like a skill 2 or something. Gregor's skill 2 is kind of like the best thing in his kit usually because it is a pretty solid 4 coin attack. Okay, but now we've got Paralysis, which is a little unfortunate. Flexible Suppression should be able to get rid of it, though. Since it is a 4 coin, it's going to immediately get rid of all of it. And, like, that Paralysis doesn't even get all the coins to roll tail a single time. But yeah, that works. Standoff. His skill 1 also is actually pretty nice to lose Clash of you gain because you gain a bunch of shield depending on how much defense level up you have this turn when you lose a Clash of his skill 1. Nice. There's a little bit of damage when we get hit by the slashy attack. Also, a little bit of attack power down this turn. A little rough, but I think we should be able to manage. These guys don't roll high enough for me to be too concerned. We also got 10 speed here because our skill 1 also gives us 2 haste next turn. So that's pretty nice. And we'll get even more haste here because we're going for another skill 1. So we'll have 4 haste next turn. Just make sure that we're going to be doing decently on speed. Like most presence should kill this, so that means the skill three should go for the mariachi guy. Okay, cool. Only two enemies left now. Do a little bit of damage, more paralysis for us. That's fine. We do this, and we should be good. And yeah, flexible suppression once again. It also like the fourth one like does a bunch more damage just for having a high defense level, like forty percent more damage with the final point at third defense level. Like, Mike Gregor's a really cool kit, especially since he doesn't have any of the main status effects. Very unique, very fun. Um, I mean, we might as well take this so we can sell it, I guess. Night vision goggles do not do very much for us, and I don't think building around charge is that great an idea. There is AEDD, I suppose, but like, none of the charge do gives are really good enough to warrant going for charge stuff from AEDD and the like. And AEDD also requires envy, which we really do not have. We can fuel lantern and lighter domain ourselves, so that's the main thing. And garden of thorns is there in case we ever, you know. That's really needed, I guess. Same fight as before for this time, that's fine. Flexible expression immediately on the one that's weak to slash. We should be able to stagger him pretty easily. Do some decent damage, too. Yeah, he's just dead. That works. 
And yeah, Ruining paralyzed a little bit this turn, but once again, the Taikyu guys aren't really that big of a thing to fear when it comes to the paralysis. Unfortunately, we're not clashing at all this turn because we're just going for counters, but once again, they are just weak counters. But because we're not clashing, the paralysis is really getting to us, yeah. Fine, the flexible suppression will be good at least. And yeah, we staggered that guy, so we didn't even get countered by him, so that's nice. Yeah, that was 30 sanity damage from those on unopposed attacks though, so that's rude. Alright, that's fine. We're clapping everything this turn. Also hitting a counter, but that's fine. Bonk. And more sanity back from the flexible suppression. Still lost a fair bit of it here, but like these guys shouldn't be too big of an issue for the rest of the fight, basically. Because we can clash everything, yeah. Nice. As far as skill changes go, that's actually an interesting question. What skill do we want more of? Because the skill one's quite nice to have because of the haste and also the shield you get when you lose clashes with it. But we could also just block, right? Because his defense, I think, gives him more, like, shield based on his... I want to take a look at it now. You gain shield by two times defense level up on self, but that's at combat start. That's so kind of bad because it means you can't gain, like, the defense, the defense level up from these things. Right? Skill 1 is kind of bad rolling, though, so doing, like, skill 1 to skill 3 type stuff so you can get a bunch of defense level stacking is probably going to be the way to go. But, like, look at this. Shield by five times defense level up on self. I don't really know if I want to change his skills at all, honestly. This is really good when you just get a lot of defense level up, which you really do. I don't know. Sure, it means we lose clashes, but like, it's very much worth it. Anyways, we get to move on to the shop now. See what we get. What are we looking for? Things that heal us. Chair of the Flask is probably pretty solid. We'll take it. Resources are good. Painkiller. Hmm. I think if we stagger, we stagger, we might just die. But we'll take this so that we can potentially live. Terminal is also nice. We'll take that. Oh, and there's Lethograph. Okay. Yeah. Heal 10% of HP whenever we stagger him because we buckle any skills. Don't mind if I do. What fun here is night two? I might sell my vision for that. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, that's some good ego gifts, that's for sure. Painkiller is kind of like a like a panic thing. Like, if we do get staggered, we're we'll probably dead immediately, but like that protection could really make the difference, right? If we get lucky, that is. If these guys go for a lot of slash stuff, we probably want to just like to main them, hit them for decent damage. Yeah. It'll work out well. We don't get defense level up from this though, but we sh hopefully should be able to stagger some of these guys with it. Like the main strong. We staggered one of them. Okay. Are we staggered? I think we staggered two of them. No, we just did just stagger one of them. Okay. Here's a boy. My dog just started like whining. I think he, I think he had like a nightmare or something. I don't know. It looks like he's just sleeping. But now he's booking up a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, even if these guys do damage us, the thing now is like, oh no, you've done 10% of my HP. It'd be a shame if I staggered one of your men and healed that back. Because Lethograph for people with gluttony is really strong. Of, like, the units you, like, can solo with, and it's not a baddie to solo with, Gregor is, like, one of the few that actually has gluttony, I feel like. Okay, stuff like Suncliff. I, I know Keikor Ponglu is gluttony, but Keikor Ponglu does not need Lethograph. That's that's the thing. Atrophied? What does their candy can even do? Is this all attack power down? Okay. Well, enjoy your atrophy, I guess. I don't know. Nice. You have the skill and probably can just kill that guy. 
not good. Yeah, because, like, stuff like DHE, like, the units that I kind of default to when I think of Soul is, like, Cake or Pong Lu, who doesn't need Lethal Grab, DHE Rodion, who doesn't have Gluttony, and uh, Sun Glyph, who doesn't have Gluttony. But Vice and Glare has Gluttony. So, yeah, definitely the, a Lethal Grab gamer, you could say. And that's for sure. Gaming. Also, thanks to Shadow, but then a boss, we could theoretically get, like, we could use, like, one of Garden of Thorns every two fights. <laughs> Victory. Okay, um... What do we want here? Probably rupture. Probably initial burn because thorny path we can sell for some stuff, I guess. Don't want to take one that increases the damage taken. Increasing slash damage taken is really bad when we're weak to slash, right? Uh, do we really need the rest stuff here? Or should we go double? Of, uh, mm, that's a good question. What would we upgrade here? I think blood sweat and tears and Carmel are the only things we could upgrade. Okay, I'll pass then. We don't need the rest off now. We'll get the one next floor. We'll be able to spend a bunch of stuff in the shop this way. And a racing encounter weak to slash could be good. Ooh. These guys do have some slash attacks of their own though, so that's a little scary. But Guardian should do fairly well here. You do some damage, but not too much. We instantly stagger this guy though. I'm fairly safe to I think it's fairly safe to say. And we build up some defense level next turn thanks to using Guardian. Right. I'm also thinking I probably should get rid of some of the skill ones anyway. Skill 1 to skill 3, just so we can get more skills that give us defense level next turn. Because the skill 1 is the only skill that doesn't do defense level next turn. So the skill 2 is uh, 2 defense level next turn, is it? Yeah, and the skill 3 is 3 defense level next turn. Which is very nice. Paralysis means it's lying a little bit, I'm sure we'll be fine. And if we're even if we're not fine, we'll be fine, I'm sure. I guess we do also have that offense, but the attack power down, which is also scary, but I'm not too concerned. Should be able to get a stagger with a flexible suppression. Yeah, definitely. That'll be 10% healing. <laughs> Unfortunately, stagger plus doesn't count towards lethal graph. It would be funny if it did, but it makes, it makes a lot of sense that it doesn't. Might be a little bit too silly. <laughs> Yep, more healing. Another nice 21 healing. Simple as that. That's the way. If we all have heard, like, our death for free healing, we also do have Lantern on Gregor. Which is easy to forget about because I don't like Lantern that much, but it is pretty good healing. Didn't stagger there. The tail is probably it made, was the difference, so that's fine. We're getting 7 defense level next turn. So that's solid. And we can do some of this. Ooh. Do we lose? Oh, we do lose here, but we also gain a decent chunk of shield, so we're not that worried. And we stagger you anyways, thanks to that. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Okay, take some damage from you, but we've got the shield, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, look at that shield. We don't need that many skill ones, though. We could really benefit from more skill 3s, I think. More skill 2s too, but you know, more skill 3s because you might as well. We'll try and hold for that in the next drop. If we just don't get Gregor though, I'm not going to like sell everything just to re-roll for Gregor though. It's only if we actually get lucky enough to get Gregor as a skill change option in the shops. Okay. Uh... I guess we'll take the version for more resources the center needs to be owned which is good because that means we'll get more gluttony and more sloth for stuff like Lego domain and lantern this i guess this is good for um egos get a little bit of defense level down and bleed with egos since they're single coins we don't really have rupture here if we do get Standard Duty Battery, we could actually theoretically get some Rupture going, though, um, by using AADD and then spamming Skill 3s. 
I don't really think that's the most, you know, trustworthy idea, though. How are we taking a bleed? They're not actually inflicting any bleed potency on us this turn, so I don't feel any need to ego. We'll just go for the flexible suppression, get the stagger off. Be fairly well off after that. Nice. We'll get a lot of bleed count going, but that should be fine. Yeah, once again, they're not actually inflicting any bleed potency to us. So I'm not very concerned. Nice. More lethal stacks. Make out for the little bit of bleed damage we're taking. We have run out of bleed already. We do still have four nails, so... If we do get bleed potency on us, it will be a little bit rough, but... They're not doing that. They're just, they're inflicting some binded paralysis to a next turn. A little bit rough because we didn't go for any skill ones. So yeah, one speed this turn. And unfortunately, we're not clashing that much. Oh yeah, this is a turn where it's a these guys are going for a little bit of some rough attack. We can try corroding ADD though, if we're too concerned. I thought it'll hit quite a few people. The attack, their attacks will still go through though, so I'm not gonna. I don't think that'll help that much. Two paralyzed. Flexible expression is probably better if they're going for the paralyzed, because then they'll just get rid of all more than enough of it immediately. We are getting more bind here, though, so yeah, next turn might be a little rough. We're having a we're getting a decent bit of bleed on us, yeah. A little bit scary, but I think we should be able it shouldn't be enough bleed for us to be too concerned, though. We should be able to like outpace it, right? I think so. Especially since there's going to be quite a few enemies. Yeah, that doesn't quite kill, but that's fine. This should kill. Yep. We are getting. We're also getting the blunt damage up from your passive. I think. Yeah. I don't really think that threw too much, but you know, it's something, so I'll take it. Oh, I'll, I'll roll with it. Three speed, a little slow this turn. We're taking more nails. That's all right. We should be able to deal with it. We'll take a. Decent bit of bleed damage here, but we'll get rid of all of our bleed and we should be fairly fine. We'll get some staggers, I'm sure, this turn. That guy's dead. Okay, we're killing people more than we're staggering in this turn, but I think we might get like one stagger with like our skill 3. I don't remember. Oh no, the skill 3 is going for you. I see. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we get staggers this turn after all. That's fine. We're still doing it. Okay, on HP. And we do have Homeward, so we'll just heal next fight, basically. Yeah, there we go. We no, we actually get the Sagger U here, so yeah, that'll work. We're gonna take a grant of almost 8 bleed damage this turn, it seems. How scary. There's the Lethograph, though. And there's a the Stagger Plus, which doesn't trigger Lethograph, but you die anyways. That's good. On to the boss. Um, floor two bosses. None of them are bad, really. I'm sure it'll be fine. Whatever it is. Oh, it's Ebony Queen's Apple. Yeah, that's a UT. That's, it's, it's very free, in fact. Does like no damage. Paint off the fruit spike, I guess. Might as well. Even if we lose the clash. Yeah, that's fine. It's the only attack that does actually decent damage, right? We also do resist gluttony, so like these vines are doing it. Like, since we resist gluttony in 0.9 to pierce, technically it's basically like as if we weren't resistant to it at all, but that's fine. Also, we can take down the fruit this turn. Forbidden fruit. Right if it's skin. Doing its tender. Yeah. yeah. Don't mind me. Having a moment. Shh. Enemy is critically wounded, sure is. Dryer must be upturned. E very easy to do. And now we no longer get the bind, but that's not really not really ever that big of an issue, but cool. Now we'll clash a little bit. Is this one that can be staggered? No. Uh we'll still clash these. Might as well. It really doesn't matter. We're probably better off just going all in on the roots and just killing it. But you know, let's let's try fighting this thing relatively normally. Should probably taking down the actual stems at least a little bit. Yeah, that one got staggered immediately. Roots are at 30 HP, so just one good attack will take them down. 
Let's go for that one, get it back. Yeah. Guardian the fruit, and then we'll just... We'll do it like that, sure. That'll work. You're at 300 HP, you're fairly close to dying. Love that flexible suppression. Yep, there goes the roots. And guarding to take down the fruit. Not that we need to take down the fruit really that much anymore, but I mean, it just just gives you more fragile, which is always nice. Yeah, there goes down. There goes right to them. We take some left some attacks. Not very much damage. As I mentioned earlier, you know, being neutral to pierce resistant to glunt and he makes you not do much. Oh, we were actually going to give be given the chance to break the roots for you know, break the fruit for good this turn. It's their second time breaking the fruit. Um, doesn't matter though, since you do just die. It's sort of standoff even, yeah. There we go. Victory. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Lust, pride, envy don't help us all. Gloom helps us, I guess. I'm kind of to take for the clover, though. Get some poise going out of nowhere for the bit. Hmm? Hmm? We can't manage it, though. We cannot sustain it at all, so I'm not going to bother, I don't think. Um, athlete skills, that's actually fairly good, yeah. Sometimes willing to leg or dominion instead sort of take down Encorp guys pretty quickly, so just getting a 20% damage up on that is nice. Like, we're going for a blunt weak fight here. This might be Encorp, and if so, I might just immediately leg or domain them. Because you really do not want them to stack up too much bleed on you. No, it's pirates, alright. Thing They've got slash stacks, though, so they're a little scary, too. I might just like to main them anyways. They also do do bleed, right? Yeah. And they're fairly easy to get staggered immediately. <laughs> really is a shame there's not very many fights that are weak to slash, because otherwise we could at least, like, attempt a, a Garden of Roses. Garden of Thorns. It wouldn't be very good because we're not getting we wouldn't be getting a resonance on it, but like I guess that's how it goes. A little bit of insanity, but the Guardian gets us back up to max, so that's good. This guy gets staggered. Flexible session probably just kills this guy, yeah, definitely. Oh, we lose the standoff. You've got 9 defense level, though, so that's a nice, solid bit of shield. I mean, it's 9 times 5, so I guess it was a 45 HP shield. Very good, that's for sure. It was so hard. You know my strange lying version of it? It just goes hard. You gotta respect that. Inflexible suppression owns this guy, definitely. Too OP. And there we go, there's our victory. Now we get our shop. Let's see if we get lucky enough to roll the Gregor at all here. Would be nice. Getting more skill threes could be very solid. Pink greens is... Mm, we don't have a loss. It's not that great. There's Gregor, though. Give him another skill three. Special contract is very solid. We'll take that. Blow up an enemy pretty quickly is always nice. Hmm... And a pain is good. And might. I didn't mean to refresh there, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll grab Nebulizer. Why not? Um. The primary stake. Thunder Branch doesn't do anything for us, because, you know, the inflicting rupture. The entire rupture build, Thunder Branch doesn't help us at all. But yeah. I'm not buying anything else with this. I just want to be able to purchase things in the rush stop if I want to. Don't know if I need to do Nebulizer or is there. I don't think it helps that much. We don't have pride, so Nebulizer's not worth it. Carmilla probably also wouldn't be very necessary. We have more skill to use it. This might have been a double skill one turn, if not for, you know, that skill change, so that's nice. And yeah, because it's a gloom attack, it benefits from both... It benefits from the healing from, um, the Draco. That's pretty solid. 
I mean, these guys are weak to slash and mostly just do blunt damage, which we do resist, so not very scary. We get some blunt damage up for ourselves this turn. Very useful. Thank you, Rodeon Passive. Guardian. The issue with Guardian is if we don't land the third coin, um, if we kill the enemy's two pass and don't land the third coin, we don't gain the additional defense level up next turn from it. Which is a really funny issue to have that we're killing too fast with it, but it happens sometimes, right? It makes sense. Just do, you're just too OP sometimes. You're getting two power down here. That's fairly fine. I'm not too concerned. That guy's got a on Clash Wind skill power plus one. I don't think there's like another Clash Wind skill power up effect in the entire game. What is that? Shh. Yeah, there they go. Victory. Now we get like what event into rest stop into fight into boss. I think something like that. If I if my memory serves me correctly, on oh, no, a rest stop into event into fight into boss. It is also Alleyway Watchdog, who should be fairly easy. Enhanced gifts. Yeah, these are only options. All right. I'll roll with it. Pretty lucky there. Could upgrade Nebulizer once again. It doesn't do very much for me. I can't get the Pride Elves of Resonance. I don't have anything else that gives me boys. Maybe I should consider going for the Clover after all, but that's fine. Bloom loves advantage. Can Gregor do this? No, he can't. Okay, 50-50 on Ishmael. We believe in you. Darn. Ishmael's been punched into oblivion. I went for Ishmael over G Corp Otis, because G Corp Otis has... Is there a skill 3 with slightly better rolling or something? It might be. It might be good for certain other clashes, right? Possible. We'll go for the Legate main. Might as well. Especially with Terminal Plus Plus, we should just stagger three people immediately with this. I don't know, some of them might be a little too tanky. I don't think so. I, th I think we're doing 20% more damage with Grey Coat. From Mill means they're already missing a huge chunk of their HP. Yeah. One of them just straight up died, I think, of the contract, too. That's nice. Well. And Vigorous Hammer, this is the Paralysis next turn one. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Two Paralysis. That's fine. We just gotta go for the stronger. I mean, we're fine. <laughs> we really are very much fine. Getting more nails, it's not that big of a deal. We'll run out of all of our um actual bleed here so that's good yeah guardian gets the stagger on this guy and this guardian should get the kill on this guy Dale thinks the legger domain is a little rough but we should heal sandy from that kill yes and yeah triple flexible suppression we're not taking any one side attacks this turn and we shouldn't for the rest of this fight because i think this will probably stagger might not kill oh no it sure does great up kill which means we get a one-sided attack on whoever survives. It's probably going to be the one in the back, though, so that's nice. Oh, yeah, we're also getting the Legger Domain Passer because we got the Gluttony Resonance going, so we're inflicting Magus, the strongest stat effect in the game. It inflicts, like, one lead count, and that's, like, it. Oh, and but they were standard due to that battery. Okay. Potentially, a plan is forming. Could be funny. I mean, how does it work though? Does this yeah. yeah. the spark discharge and hit the attacker against Falcon Charge Camp? I don't think this works actually, yeah. It would only work if we had Thrill or something, I think. Because. No, it says when hit with the Gloom Attack, get and gain one rupture count, then reduce count by one. Okay, so no, this should work actually. Alright, let's give it a shot, shall we? ADD, uh, we could corrode it. Actually, let's see. Who would it? Uh, we don't have enough envy to go for the corrosion. That's one of the slash ones. These are the scarier ones. They do more damage to us. Oh, they do all do a fair bit of damage to us because we are weak to sloth. But AD changes that. So that's good. Getting 15 spark discharge off. I always call it static discharge because it sounds more logical to me. Tails is good. We want this guy to roll as many tails as possible so he didn't, didn't do too much damage. Yeah. Great. Yeah, now if we just spam skill threes on the body, 
We only have one skill three here, so we can't spam it too heavily. But we can actually get Rupture to build up here, which would be really funny. Let's go for another ADD, yeah. A little one side with the Guardian. This is a stupid idea. I just want to see how well we can get it to work, right? Get more Spark Discharge going by using another ADD. Our Sandy's not going to be doing great, but that's fine. I think next turn you're probably going to mass attack us. That's fine. But if it works as it says it does... It does. Yeah, look at that. It builds up. We heal a little bit thanks to, you know, loom attacks. I think we probably should just try flashing properly, though, because we're getting a little bit too close to Stagger Threshold for my liking. Yeah, we just don't have enough skill 3s to warrant it, I don't think, unfortunately. But we do need to ego these, though. Might just like her to main one of them, though. Because the good thing about Liger Domain is it costs, like, no sanity. We have Liger Domain that. I guess we might Lantern the other? Favor. That's a little scary. Fine. Worst can happen. Oh, we're losing with Guardian. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, we won. Yeah, that's good. A little bit more Rupture, then. Doesn't matter, though, because it's going to run out because of the mass attacks, I'm sure. Fine. Yeah, that hit the body, so no more rupture count on the body. That's fine. I'm not too concerned, right? It was a funny idea, but it only really works if you have a lot of skill threes. Because otherwise, you just kind of got to have to bam far too many ADDs. A little bit of healing there, so we're goaded. You got paralysis now in your body, so you're not even rolling that scarily. Struggling. Hmm. Some like neutral clashes just so we can get our Sandy up a little bit. We'll clash Lightning Rod and probably one of these Electromotive Pursuits. Actually, we'll probably just stand off one of these. It should be good, because it should happen... Eh, it's going to happen immediately, isn't it? Okay, we'll get some shield, though, so that's good. Fine losing a Clash. This guy doesn't have Sandy, so it's not like losing Clash gives him, you know, Sandy or something. Yeah, it doesn't do too much to us. Blunt resistance gaming. It'll be fairly solid. Yeah, we won with Guardian, so that's more Sanity. Doing good damage to the body. We're also going for some skill 3s in the body right now, which is funny. Building up the rupture. I think Legend Domain's probably gonna hit the body though, so you know. It, it won't add up enough. And see for sure, you know. I could have actually managed it so it didn't hit the body, I'm sure, if I was smarter about it. It didn't hit the body, actually. Okay. Maybe the rupture is working? Yeah, how's, it, how's it looking? Seven needs spark discharge, yeah. Body's going for one attack this turn, okay. We'll double up their skill 3s on it just for the damage. Electrified Howl... I mean, it's not even that scary of an attack is the thing, because, like, it's not even a mass attack in this, in, in, under these circumstances. Like, I'll, uh... I'll probably mass attack the Lightning Rod anyways, because I don't want to get hit by that, but, like... Just say I don't just, you know, purposely, like, lose to these, right? The Flexible Expression... Actually, actually it wins against this. Okay. Maybe we don't lose then. We go for the neutrals. Yeah, that'll work. We get an observational eye off here, so we actually gain flash power this turn, thanks to having the three gluttony resonance. And we're still stacking a stupid amount of the rupture there. Paralysis doesn't do much here. I don't think we're hitting anyone who actually like needs paralysis. And we're not attacking any part that the paralysis does much for us with that, but that's fine. Yeah, broke the person there. And then finally, Guardian the body, the rupture kills you. Okay, that was funny. And why not try that again? Maybe I will try it again. Honestly, there's a decent chance the boss of this lore is going to be weak to Gloom, so we might want to spam Gloom skills anyways.
This doesn't help us. I mean, one of these two, right? We don't really want to give them... We don't really want them to do sanity damage or anything. We'll take a loser hunt. Sunshower would be nice, that's for sure. We could just spam Lagger to main and keep it rolling. I don't think it's necessary, though. We'll stick to bottom path here. Go for a lot of... Uh, Pekatule fights should be pretty beneficial for us, I'd say. Bit scary. We can lag domain though, yeah. I'll be able to play. It'll immediately stagger all three of those people being hit by it. And we'll be relatively fine thanks to that. One of them might just explode from the contract once again. Depending on if we did enough damage for that to kill them. And yep, we sure did. Nice. Yeah, we're taking a little bit of bleed. Not too much, though. We've got a fair bit of nails. Yeah, that's what we need to be... Well, that's what we're a little scared of. Because we do have 5-plus nails and that attack's hitting us. So we're going to get 10 attack power down and 10 paralysis next turn. Uh... Okay, neither of those are hitting. Okay. Third lantern is here since not great. It is a five target though. And oh it's a, it's clashing. It's clashing what we need to clash against. Alright then. We'll roll with it. It's been a while since I've used lantern at all, much less corroded lantern. That'll be nice. We're probably I mean we're probably gonna lose lantern being his only path option, right? Because I'm Bygon Days is probably a path for you. They've all been captivated. Yeah, of course he would be. Look at that weird little fairy. And now there's a guy coming out of a tree in the ground. That's pretty That's pretty captivating. But that's also a lot of healing that happened there. I couldn't tell exactly how much. You know at the end of like a run when it shows you how much damage you've dealt and also, you know, how much damage you've taken? They should also show how much you've healed. I'm really curious. It would also be really funny for stuff like take or Pongu fights, but it's probably pretty similar to the damage taken number, so I guess it's not that important. But if it shows you how much you healed, it might show you like beyond the cap, right? Um, Thousand Bundle is more rupture, could be good. I could do a lay. Yeah, that goes. Okay. Okay, that's a little rude. Um, hmm. Could mass attack these guys. It won't do that much, though. I think we're going to take a fair bit of damage, and that's just kind of going to be how it goes. So we're just going to try and reduce that a little bit by going for at least a flexible suppression on one of these gluttony guys. They're our biggest threats here, team. They're our biggest ops, as they say. <laughs> A dog was whining again. But like in a strange way, he doesn't normally whine. He's still fine though, and he's like still like sleeping. Okay. This seemed fine. How much damage we take? Okay, we took some damage. We should be mostly fine, though. Trying to be a little scary. The Greedy Gluttons is the main thing. Just these two in general are the main things. Alright, that didn't quite kill, that's fine. We'll have to just kill some random thing next turn then. Yeah, we're healing up pretty easily, so the damage we're taking does not matter too much. Okay, yeah. We need to flash everyone else this turn then, right? Yeah. That'll work. Something like that, yeah. I'm going for the skill one of the sloth guy, because the sloth guy is like the least threatening enemy of these. Yeah. 
doesn't quite kill though. It's unfortunate about a skill three. It's just it it's slightly less damage than a skill two a lot of the time. Yeah, once again, just barely didn't kill. That's all right. This turn we will kill some people. That's the goal. A lot of flexible suppressions coming through, like that. Yeah. We also get the clash power from Yi Song thanks to that. So that's well. Would have been better with base Rodion over DHE. Now that I think about the fact that the blunt power, the blunt damage doesn't help us that much. That's fine, because base Rodion is similar to Gambler. It just makes you deal more damage with edge coins. Very solid effect. Okay, one enemy left. You do not survive the winter. Oh, that was a little bit strange lag, huh? Like, we killed that guy and it was kind of stuttering a little bit. I guess the lag's not the right word stuttering is. Same difference, I guess. I don't know. Well, we get some events now. Oh, this is really good for just getting more resources from Liger Domain. Uh, if we can pass this, we need all heads. Nice gaming. This fragment. So it's like one of the worst gifts in the game, but it could benefit us. A uh, double our bleed infliction. Okay, we got this. We just need. We didn't really need three heads here. Yeah, we got all four still though, so that's nice. Overkill. The war. Um, more Pegatule now. Shouldn't be too bad. Actually, let's look at the one thing that was damaged to you, of course, yeah. Killed that guy. You know, just kill two of that guy, honestly, yeah. It doesn't even matter, because Contract will kill, like, the first person I attack anyways, right? Yeah. Maybe it would have mattered. I think we staggered quick with the skill 2 than we would with the skill 3. You probably would have staggered with the third point at the skill 3, which might have not been enough to kill, right? I don't know. That's my take on it, though. That is 6 bind, though, so that's a little unfortunate. That is 9 bind, though, so that's a little unfortunate. I don't really do that much. And none of these guys are going for the thing that binds us. They just all three of them went for the attack that binds me last turn. Not to be confused that you get binds that'll be coming next week. Or week and a half, I guess, that's what I mean to say. Not this week, but the week after this week. So next week, yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's Saturday, so I don't know how fitting of a thing that it's to say today. Who knows? Excited though. I'm excited to see the new ID breakdown on Monday. They'll be goaded, I'm sure. As for always. Yeah, go for you there. You there. And then you there. Okay, that looks good. You're weak to gluttony so this will do well and the sloth guys are weak to gluttony but they're also weak to gloom so i just figured might as well skill three this guy or the other guy this guy i'm still wanting the other guy skill three though which should be pretty good darn if we got that heads there it would have killed and said you had left at one hp all right be like that They'll die this turn. We, we can even double up on this guy just to make sure he dies. Although this is the one time where one skill is actually enough. There we go. On to the finale of the run. I didn't look at what the boss was. Once again, I'll be sad if it's Chromer. It's probably going to be Chromer though, isn't it? Oh, we'll take that. Sure. You don't have rest up. That's a 50% chance of being Chrome or cool. Um. Hmm. Oh, give me a minute. Alright, um. Let's see. If it is Chrome or, like, what do we. What can we do about that? Not really a lot, I feel like. I don't know. We're, we might need to try getting the Force Corrosion shenanigans off, but that's not very easy, is it? We can get another skill 3, though, and that's nice. Uh, didn't help us too much. 
don't really know what I'm looking for here. Is there anything I want to upgrade? And eh, not particularly. Actually, maybe. You know what? Let's let's try it. Okay. We can get this to plus plus. Because enemy's always gonna have rupture, right? Just because we've got the standard of the battery. Oh, uh, smoking wires, no. Curriculum battery, that's a no. Maybe it's like yes, actually. We need the ADD, which is very doable. We'll get a bunch of haste and some power up. It just increases how much haste we get. It's not really that worth it. I'll go for it though for the bit. Okay, talisman bundle plus plus. We got a lot of twenty percent there. Uh, sure thing. We're already max HP, so we didn't need to worry about healing. Let's see though. Is it Cromer or is it the boring fairy man? Let's see. It sure is Cromer. Oh boy. Um, this isn't good. We need to corrode direly. Okay, we do have Garden of Thorns though, right? So we could just fully go into that, right? Clashing now is a good thing to clash against. Sure thing. We're gonna get too many nails and probably die though, if I had to guess. We need to lose sanity and quickly. If we had commemorative point, this would be a lot easier, but this should be. Huh? Okay. Um. I don't think the background's working correctly against Cromer. That's a little interesting. Now we take some hits, though. We're gonna get a bunch of nails. That's the big issue. Yeah, that's three nails straight up. It's bad because turn three we need to really we need to really minimize how many nails we have. You don't affect any nails this turn though, so it'll have a little bit. We shouldn't have too many nails going into next turn. We do need to corrode Garden of Thorns though. It's clashing. That's fine. We should still be able to run out of sanity. What if we do like this, right? You do, we'll deal some SP, you'll deal some SP damage to us actually. That's probably pretty fine then. We'll try seeing if we can win that clash. Not that it matters too much, right? I'm getting music. I'm getting music. I'm getting music. I'm, I just gotta. I just gotta watch the ad first now. Um, should be doing decently. Okay, yeah, three. Okay, so we just we desperately need to clash with these two. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, that clash is right. Okay, that's good. Okay, here we go. Excellent. That's actually what we needed. Because these two, if either of these hit, we do get stagger basically immediately because of the things, and that'll stagger us next turn. Not very good. Okay, this looks pretty good. We're also getting the Lost Resonance, though, so that's that's also very funny. Um... Okay, that's a little loud. That'll work. Oh, Interesting how a big black border just shows up there. Okay, yeah. But that's good. It's all about getting, like, the good turn three. The fact that we actually got all three Garden of Thorns available and not, you know, any of those, like, panicky, you know, skip spots was very lucky. It's funny to see this at Eagle, like, a bunch of times uh, with the black background. Yeah, Garden of Thorns very easily wins every clash, though, since it's just rolling 30s consistently with a chance to roll a 20. If you speak to... If you resist lost it's why we're not doing that much damage, right? I think that's the issue, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get gazed into next turn. We should be able to stagger you here, though. So I think we'll be fine. We actually don't have enough sanity. That's not good. Cause we, yeah, we can't win any clashes, can we? No. Do we just corrode again? Is that the play? We're at negative one envy, so we actually kind of can't. And you're gonna deal SP damage too. Ugh. Like your domain, one of these. We'll land here in one of these. 
Uh, you get hit by some things, probably. The gripping actually is really fine to get hit by, I think. Look at that gluttony resonance going. It means we get the clash power from uh, Yi Song. It's like a one clash power increase, but that's something. And yeah, you're staggered. Okay, so you don't even get the ch you, you do still gaze me, though, so I do get staggered next turn. You did get immediately, like, destroyed thanks to the contract, though, so that's good. And our Sandy is not going to be a good spot. Likely we're at least going to get the skill, too. We'll have some defense level up next turn, so that's something. I don't think we needed the healing, but in case we were like a couple points short or something, that's there. My first phase is a rough one. My garden, garden of roses, garden of thorns really did help us out there a lot. Okay, second phase time. We got staggered though. That's right. We do have free protection though, thanks to the painkillers. So that honestly might make the difference. We're gonna get a bunch of paralysis next turn from the innocent flutters. Okay, that's fine. We're at six skill slots now, though, right? Yeah, okay, that's good. Negative 38 sanity. Um, might just leg her to main. Might accept the corrosion. In fact, don't do much of everything, much of anything. Fine. We're not going to do a lot of damage here, but we're going to stack two amounts of defense all up for next turn. But yeah, we should... Actually, no, we're winning the clash, so we'll get sanity back. That's right. That's fine. Like it doesn't spend too much sand, so that's good. We're gonna get a lot of tails this turn though, which is gonna be very unfortunate. We're also getting a lot of damage up basically like every turn. That's very nice. Like we're slowly chipping away. We're stag I mean we do get the stagger of the body immediately. So that's nice at least. Or the moth. I guess that's the Correct name for it. Actually, we got some random heads there. That was strange. Shh. I'll take it, though. Yeah, the Mazon was broken. A little bit more damage, and it will break next turn. That's nice. And you're not doing too much damage to us. We get a much more haste. We got a lot of haste, a lot of damage up, that sort of thing going on. This is the turn where you would have been attacking with the mob, but you kind of can't. Oh, we can go maximum gluttony resonance this turn, then. Just like this. Or not Gladdy Gloom. You know what I mean. It'll be funny. We've also got 18 defense level up and it's just going to keep on building up. We've got enough to get the maximum, like, attack, like, coin power up stuff from this. Now that coin power up helped us here because, uh, head's chance not great. We are killing you, though. There we go. Uh, I can't turn the music back on until we actually uh, get through this menu, though, so it's going to be a little quiet. Yeah, you did 100%. Gaming. Yeah, pretty, pretty good run, honestly. Pretty solid Cromer fight, all things considered. It was a little... It's a little scary when you get Cromer, because uh, if you can't manage to get the Sandy stuff going... It can be a little rough. You have to get a little lucky. We actually did get really lucky there, being able to use all three Garden of Thorns. Now I can turn the audio back on so it doesn't sound weird. There we go. Oh, we got a seasonal. That's cool. We're also very close to getting that, so that's also nice. Slowly getting there. I haven't done any grinding yet, so you know that's not going up too much. But yeah. I mean, it'll be more free levels pretty soon, yeah. Shh. Oh yeah, also, in case you don't know, um, the end of the mirror on the 50 times is pretty free. Just enter the mirror on and get to the first floor and then quit, and then you can just repeat a bunch of times, and you can just get this basically instantly if you want that sooner rather than later. It's not that big of a deal, really, because 50 mirror dungeon is not that hard to do, at least in my opinion, but if you want to get, you know, a little, like, 8 experience a little faster, you can just kind of do that. And it will count, because it just says enter, it doesn't say complete 15. I think it probably should they complete 15 but mm, maybe should say like complete 10 or something right do complete but a little lower of a number anyways looks like it's a one star kind of day sure is all right that's fine works for me yeah i like zwei gregor a lot he's fun 
He's got a very, like, solid kit defensive stacking. It's very good because, you know, before they added Zvi Gregors and Zvi Faust, um, they tried protection with, like, a, a minor amount of protection with Zvi Sinclair. Didn't work out, also a bit of Tremor. They tried some shield stuff with, with Poise for Rodeon. I don't know the thing there, but defense level is kind of like the best middle ground for, you know, how Zvi should work. I'd say, at least. Uh. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.